Hello guys. Ngayon, uh, pag-usapan naman natin ang matrix na ito. So, na-discover ko itong uh, matrix na ito sa pag-square ng binomial or sa pag-square rather ng two-digit numbers. Kahit na anong two-digit numbers pag in-square natin, pwede natin i-apply yung square ng binomial na katulad nito. So, I don't know kung mag-a-agree kayo sa akin, but, pero ito na-discover ko siya. Okay, let's try. So, alimbawa, di ba, sa square ng binomial na A plus B squared, it's just the square of the first term plus twice the product of the first and the second and then square natin yung last term. So, yun yung uh, process ng squaring ng binomial. Now, let's apply this, especially this part, this part, uh, this particular portion of the squaring of binomial, let's apply that to uh, squaring two-digit numbers. So, let's try. Let's try it first with the smaller number. So, let's square 12. So, now, I will work backward. I will start from here and then going to the middle term and then finally going to the first term. So, I square first. The first step is to square the last term which is here 2. That's the last term. So, 2 square. I'll put it here 2 square. And then, uh, now, let me put my answer here. So, that is 4. And then after that, so, twice the product of the first and the second. So, 1 times 2. So, 2 times 1 times 2. That's twice the product. That's 2AB. So, now we have 2 times 2 times 2 is 4. So, I'll put it here, 4. And then, square the first term. Square the first term, which is 1 square. It's just 1. So, we have 144 as our answer. Now, let's check that out. To check if this is correct, let's do the traditional way of multiplying numbers. So, 12 times 12. So, 12 times 12. So, 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 2 is 2. And then, 1 times 1 is 1. So, we have 4, 4, and then 1. So, indeed they are the same. Now, let's try another number. Okay, let me erase this part. Hey, let's try another number. Let's say, for example, we have 14 square. So again, what I'm going to do is to square the last term, which is, uh, this is our A is 1, our B is 4. So, first, I will square B. So, since this is my first step, second step, and then third step. So, square B. So, 4 square is 16. Now, I will take 6 as my last digit. And then, what will I do with 1? So, that's my carryover. So, carryover of 1. And now, uh, twice the product. So, we are now going to the second step. Twice the product. 2 times A times B, which is 4. So, now, we have 8. And then, this carryover will be added here, plus 1. So The answer is 9. So, I'll put it here, 9. And then, finally, I have to square the first term, which is A, which is 1. So, the answer is 1. Now, our answer is 196. Now, let's do the checking again. So, let's check to check if our answer is correct. Now, we have 14 times 14. Now, 4 times 4 is 16, carry 1. 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. So, 6, 9, and 1. 
So now, as we can see, this is the same as this. Okay, let's try another number. If you still do not believe me, let's try another number, a bigger number. And let's apply the same process. Okay, let's delete this first. Okay, now let's try a bigger number. Let's say, for example, we have, okay, let's have a bigger number. So we have, let's say, 35 square. So first, we have to square. This one is our B. This one is our A. So let's first square the last term, which is B. So 5 square is 25. Now, I'll take this one, 5. And then 2 will be our carryover. Next, I have 2 multiply a and b and 2. So, twice the product of a and b. So, 2 times 3 times 5, which is now 30, plus 2, so 32. Now, I'll take this one and a carryover of 3. And I have to square uh, a, or the first term, so 3 square, which is 9, plus my carryover, this one, so, I have to add 9 plus 3 is 12. So, now, my answer will be 1,225. This is my answer. Now, let's check if this is correct. So, let's have 35 times 35. So, 5 times 5 is 25. Carry 2. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2 is 17. 1 times, uh, 3 times 5 is 15, carry 1, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So now we have 5, uh, we have 12, carry 1, so 2, then 1. So as we can see, again, we have the same answer. Now, let's apply another or let's have another example, and this time, I will no longer do this long procedure so that, let's see if we can apply this one quickly in multiplying or squaring two-digit numbers. So, let's say, for example, we have 60. Okay, what happened? So, 62. Let's say we have 62. Mm-hmm. So, we have 62 square. So, my first, I square the last number, or B. So, 2 square is 4. And then, twice the product, 2 times 6 times 2, that's going to be 24. I have a carryover of 2. And then, square the first term, which is 6 square, is 36 plus 2, so 38. So, this is my answer. Go ahead. If you want to check it using your calculator, do it. Now we have another number. Let's say we have 73 square. So now the last digit is 3. So I square that. That is 9. And then twice the product. 7 times 3 is 21 times 2. That's 42. A carryover of 4. And then square the first term, which is 7 square is 49 plus 4. That's 53. Now, let's have another number. Let's say, for example, 84 square. So, again, square the first, uh, the last term, which is 4 square is 16, a carry over 1. And then twice the product, 8 times 4 is 32, times 2 is 64, plus 1 is 65, a carry over of 6. And then square the first term, six, 8 square is 64, plus 6, the answer is 70. So now, these are our answers. Go ahead, check this one using your calculator, and comment if you want more on this.